Hello, I'm Shannon Cagle and welcome to American Graduate Day on WFYI. Joining us today, we have Mindy Bennett, Director of Programs at Child Care Answers, Connie Sherman, Executive Director of the St. Mary's Child Care Center, and Shalonda Murray, Executive Director of Auntie Mame's Child Development Center. Ladies, thank you for joining us thank today. We're glad to have you. you here. We're talking about early childhood education. Connie, I'm going to start with you. It cannot be overstated how important early childhood education is to the development of a good student. That's exactly right. Um, children, brain development, all of that starts well before they ever get into school. So um, we really need to look at what happens. Um, St. Mary's serves children in poverty. That's our focus. And we know that for children in poverty, um, they can go into school as much as a year and a half to two years behind. And it's because they lack the experiences that are common to other kids. For instance, um, it's the research says that children in poverty, um, by the time they're three, they've heard 32 million fewer words than children in the middle class. So there's a gap there, and it has to be addressed if they're going to be successful later on in life and in school. One of those things that a lot of parents don't think about is how many words their children hear. Right. Shalanda, tell me a little bit about Auntie Mames and the, and the children that Auntie Mames serves. Well, we're located on the northeast side of Indianapolis in a high crime area. So we work with a lot of inner city children and children that, of poverty. And so like my colleague Connie, we're always working to make sure that children have exposure to those skills that they may not have in their communities and neighborhoods. So we're exposing them to non-traditional as well as traditional opportunities that a lot of parents can't afford without our assistance. So young children, they need the opportunity to enjoy swimming pools, learn swimming safety, learn about helmets, as well as learning their alphabet and numbers and shapes. So we're exposing them to a plethora of activities that a lot of families just can't afford to expose their children to. And what does that mean to that child's development as a student to have those kind of exposures early in their, their education? Well, research tells us that when children have access to early good quality early education um, programs. They have a decreased rate in referrals to special education, decreased rate in retention in grades, and decreased rate of juvenile um, participation in juvenile deviancy. So in a high crime area where there's a lot of dropouts, a lot of individuals that are reliant on um, subsidies, we are encouraging our children to look beyond that by exposing them to positive activities. And I'm sure that they get very excited about that too. I do as well. Very good. <laughs> Mindy, tell me a little bit about how your service supports the, the others that we're talking about here. Absolutely. Child Care Answers is, is a child care resource and referral service that services Central Indiana. Uh, we are one of nine child care resource and referral services in the state of Indiana. So our services are available actually across the state. Um, what we do to help child care providers is we provide lots and lots of professional development opportunities through a calendar that goes out to them on a quarterly basis. But then we also provide technical assistance right in their sites. Um, we help child care providers with mentoring and coaching opportunities to help them improve their quality of care as they move up on paths to quality, which is the quality rating and improvement system for Indiana. So both of my colleagues here um, run sites that are paths to quality level four, and that is the highest rated um, in the state of Indiana and that means that they are both nationally accredited. So when you're looking for child care, Paths to Quality is an easy way for families to know what to look for and we are the support system that helps family or helps child care providers move up on Paths to Quality along with our partners over at the Indiana Association for the Education of Young Children. We partner together to help the programs move up and improve their quality. Well, development, professional development is really important as you're moving forward and we're getting this new research that we're hearing about all the time. Right. Connie, what would, you, what would you tell parents about um, how important it is to understand what paths to quality is going to mean to their, their children moving forward? Well, the research um, that Shalanda quoted mm -hmm. um, that talks about children and um, the advantages that they get from high quality early childhood education is very important because those advantages only happen if the program is of that high quality. Mm -hmm. So um, we need to look at, it, it's just very important that it, again, that it's a quality program. Um, so I would tell families to really take a look um, at what's going on in their school. And I, Paths to Quality is a very um, good way and accessible to a lot of people to find out exactly what their school looks like in terms of quality. 
And quickly, Shalonda, it's important to let parents know that there are places willing to work with them even when they think that it's not available, right? Definitely. Very Definitely. much so. Ladies, thank you very much for joining us today. We need you at home to get involved as well. Call the toll-free number and go to these websites to find out more. Become an American Graduate Champion and make a difference. Please continue to stay with us.